All right, so in this video, we're going to look at artificial intelligence. It's all the rage these days. Let's hop right in. So before we look at artificial intelligence, you, ha you have to first look at just regular intelligence. You know, what is our brain doing? And the truth is we don't really know. Artificial intelligence, also known as AI, there's actually a, a, a lot of definitions that are thrown around out there. Uh, one of the definitions is the idea of learning from data, a computer being able to quote unquote learn. And another definition is a computer being able to simulate human behavior. The Turing test would fall under this category where it's, it's a human trying to figure out if a computer is a human. Now, another term that's thrown around is AI in games, and I don't consider this true artificial intelligence because it's not, you know, t take a Goomba in Mario. It's not learning from the environment. It's a pre-coded thing <laughs> that, that, you know, it's not learning and it's not simulating human behavior. So AI in games doesn't really count. And artificial intelligence is all around us these days, whether you're typing a search into Google and the auto-completed search that pops up, or it could be on something like Amazon where you're getting recommended uh, products. Even those CAPTCHAs, those annoying CAPTCHAs you have to fill out, or recaptchas where you have to select a bunch of pictures to prove that you're not a human, uh, a lot of times that's actually where you're training an artificial intelligence uh, how to do certain things. So a lot of times it, you might notice that it's pictures related to to the road and driving. And that's because Google is behind a lot of those and they're trying to train their self-driving cars and, and build up a database of what a uh, you know what certain things look like on the road and they're using you. Okay, and there's also these home assistants that we have, um, whether it's Alexa or Siri. Uh, these are learning your preferences, okay, always learning about you. And they're also um, using artificial intelligence to recognize speech patterns and more. So the, 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 that's actually a great example of artificial intelligence. And one of the latest um, newest forms of artificial intelligence is these videos that are called deep fakes you might have heard of. Um, basically, they're able to make fake videos using artificial intelligence that is extremely convincing. And so it's, it's an interesting new development in this field. All right. So speaking of this field, where are we? Well, we're in what's called the era of weak AI, believe it or not. So um, all the artificial intelligence I've just described is, is in this era. Um, it's very much a human-assisted thing. The next level that we're, we're headed towards is what's called AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, and that would be quote-unquote strong AI, and that's the, the, the level of, of a human, uh, of, of human intelligence. And it's not like once machines are able to achieve human intelligence, they'll just stop, they're going to keep going. And so the next level would be, quote unquote, super intelligence. And that's where machines are actually smarter than the human brain. And then then it just starts building on itself. And it's theorized that we could get to a point to who knows what's going to happen. And it could be what's known as the singularity, where it's just like an infinite explosion of intelligence, because the, the artificial intelligence can create a better version of itself, which can then create a better version of itself, and so on. I think that's so far ahead of of where what we're going to see in our lifetime, anyone watching this, that it's tough to say what's going to happen. So I really wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> which brings me to this, okay? So there's different views of, of you know, uh, how people look at the future. And so you got your Terminator scenarios where the machines are going to take over and we're going to lose all our jobs and we're all going to die. Um, and then there's a utopian view where we're going to be liberated as a species. We're not going to have to work anymore. There's going to be all these breakthroughs and it's going to be great. And then there's a group in the middle that thinks it's so far away that we don't really have to worry about it. 
I think as humans, we tend to overestimate how fast technology moves. So let, let's, let's look at the big picture. All right. So there's different phases of the Industrial Revolution. And, and simplified, you can think of the, the first phase was based on steam. The second was based on electricity. And the third was the digital revolution. Okay. Now you might hear the term the fourth industrial revolution. And I think that we're still very much in the third industri the third phase of the industrial revolution. So this is my own opinion, but I, I think when we have something like quantum computers or um, some type of biological connection, that might be a monumental change enough. But my opinion is that we're still in the third phase of the Industrial Revolution because it's all still digital. A lot of people think that because artificial intelligence exists right now, that's a big enough leap. And maybe they're right. But how does artificial intelligence actually work? Well, right now it's all about pattern recognition, just like uh, uh, humans looking at shapes and, and looking at the, the amount of sides on the shape to decide which shape it is. Uh, a, a computer is doing a similar thing, except, you know, computers only work with ones and zeros. So, you know, it might not know what visually something looks like, but it knows certain patterns that um, are, are the makeup of a particular visual thing, if that makes sense. Um, let me break it down a little further. So you have artificial intelligence, and then what we have now is machine learning. A uh, really simplified way of thinking about machine learning is if you remember those those memory games where you have to pick two different cards from a random pile of, of um, unknown cards. And at first, you're just rolling the dice. You're, you're, you're just guessing at which cards are, are which. So when you start the game, you're just randomly picking pictures. But over time, you start to find out what pictures are where and you start to make the connections and machines they can basically just test and test and test until they actually start to figure out um, uh, for example in uh, uh, image recognition they start to, to figure out what images look like and the next level of this is deep learning uh, but I do want to point out that all of this is possible because of the idea of big data, because of the amount of data we have. Now I'm going to do a different video about big data, but just know we have so much data out there that these machines can train themselves on just so much data now that's just ever growing. And the next level of machine learning, um, a deeper level, is deep learning. Okay, and deep learning is the idea of trying to set up a machine in the same way our brains are set up, or at least how we think they're set up. So a, uh, a neural network is the idea of deep learning. If you look at, um, instead of looking at the pixels and comparing pixels of a, uh, a picture of a bird to another picture of a bird, it might actually go a step further and understand how a bird has a beak and a bird has feathers, and a bird can fly, and thus it's better able to tell um, pictures of birds apart. So it's a simplified view, but I hope that helps to understand a little bit. Um, I hope it didn't confuse you further. All right, so wrapping up, I just want to say that we're already cybernetic organisms, or cyborgs for short. Uh, you know, we have our iPhones and our hearing aids for... You know, you're watching this on a digital device right now. You're getting this information sent to your brain. With the use of whatever device you're watching this video on, you're actually gaining information. So you're already, like, infused with a machine. Okay, so that's that leads me to think that the future is not necessarily, you know, one where... Uh, you know, it's not so black and white where you have machines and humans. I think we're just going to further blend with the machines and eventually we're just going to augment our own bodies um, using the, the new technology. So I'm actually pretty optimistic. Maybe I do think there's going to be a utopia. Who knows? But I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day.